Good morning and welcome to Baird Brothers Fine Hardwood, 7060 Quarry Road, Canfield, Ohio. I'm Steve Stack, uh, Director of Business Development, and we find ourselves in September here in uh, Northeast Ohio, and that means one thing, red, white, and true, celebration of American craftsmanship, uh, our annual fall festival. Unfortunately, we're not able to have an on-site event this year. Uh, Due to the coronavirus, uh, uh, the COVID-19, uh, we're respectful of, of our guidance through, through our local government, through our state government. And uh, we wanna keep our employees safe and more importantly, just as important, we wanna keep our customers safe. So we're shifting gears a little bit this year and mixing it up on you, but we still wanna give you a taste of it. One of the most popular things about our event is our plant tours. So this morning, we're gonna take you for a tour on, uh, through the facility. Uh, please know that through the course of, of, of this pandemic, we greatly appreciate the way you have supported us from back in February and March when this started throughout the whole, the, the, the spring and the summer. Uh, we wish you were here. Uh, come back in 2021. We'll be cooking, cooking hamburgers and hot dogs and, and the donuts and the cider and the, uh, all, of our, all of our vendors will be here again. But know that we thank you for sticking by us and we greatly appreciate it. All right, so let's go for a tour. One of the first things we do is we come over to our grading and stacking shed. And what's gonna happen there is the lumber will be accounted for. We're gonna grade it in that, whether it's a one common lumber or a two common lumber or an FAS select material. And that's different qualities of the hardwood lumber. At that point, we're gonna take the rough lumber, and we're gonna put it on what we call sticks. And it's a layer of lumber, a row of sticks, layer of lumber, row of sticks. And we do that so once that lumber, that green lumber, goes into our dry kilns, that allows for proper air circulation and airflow, so the lumber dries down to that six to eight percent moisture content that we're looking to achieve. So when we take it through manufacturing and it winds up in your home in the form of flooring, doors, moldings, it's stable and it's gonna stay there. And as long as those environmental conditions inside your home with humidity control and things, air conditioning, and heating, as long as that's done properly, that product is gonna be there forever. So let's walk, let's walk over and see, uh, see if the guys are working uh, this morning. And like I say, this is the uh, uh, grading and sticking operation. And this, this, has to, this has to take place. I mean, it's, it's uh, the first look that we get of the lumber actually putting these uh, these layers of lumber on sticks and uh, as you can see uh, there's, a, there's some beautiful lumber here okay so I've I've uh, I've lost my mask we're outside of our sticking shed out into uh, one of our pre-dry sheds and behind me is our dry kiln so we have a couple guys that pay strict attention to taking care of this green lumber that we just saw put on sticks and we'll go into the dry kiln. Uh, the temperature duration of the stay of the lumber in the dry kiln is determined by the thickness, the species of the lumber. And, and uh, so it varies. I mean, you might go anywhere from seven days up to, you know, a few weeks and uh, your oaks and your poplars, uh, your four quarter material, your one inch lumber versus your two inch, eight quarter material. That all de determines how our dry kiln guys treat that lumber and how they bring it up to temp, how they hold it to temp, how they bring it back down. So, so we know that when it comes out of that dry kiln, again, we're at that six to 8% moisture content. It's a nice, stable hardwood product. And then we're ready to go to manufacturing. Okay, so I gave you a little bit of an idea what goes on in this building we're walking into now, uh, our optimizing line. Uh, and like I said, we're gonna address the rough lumber 
it's going to go through a planning process. And once it comes out of the planer, it's going to go onto an inspection line. And at the inspection line, our operator, he guides a set of lasers that he can adjust across the face of the board and determine what width he wants to get out of that lumber. He might have a nice clear piece of maple. Uh, he said, boy, that's a beautiful one by 10. Uh, so he'll rip it at the, the, the width accordingly to yield that finished product down the road. Uh, he may also have uh, that same piece of maple that has a small knot in the center of the board across the width of it. So he might take a one by four off of one side of it and a, a, you know, a, another one by four or one by six off the other side of that board. Uh, and then left with a narrow strip down the center, that's gonna go through a gang rip saw. And once that board approaches the gang rip saw, it's, it has an ear tag on it, an identification number. When that board approaches the rip saw, that saw identifies it through the computer at the control panel and that saw will adjust automatically to those two, three, four, five rippings that has to be done. So now that we've addressed the width of the board, now it's gonna start down a series of conveyors and now we're gonna address the length of the board and depending on the product that we're manufacturing that particular day, uh, we might produce everything from short material in, in the poplar line especially, which will then, you know, we'll take, we'll take pieces anyway, you know, around 12 inches long, up, up, upwards of, uh, you know, two foot long, and, and we'll use those in a finger joining operation, rejoin those and we'll see it, uh, that will become our high quality paint grade poplar material in a poplar finger jointed primed casing, baseboard, crown molding, dimensional lumber. Or if we're running, let's say red oak this particular day, we might be producing shorter pieces, 16 to 60 inches long, which will be called out, sorted out, and that's gonna go into our flooring product. Or we might have 49 inch pieces that we're cutting out of five quarter oak to go into our stair parts material. Or we might have those beautiful, you know, one by 10, one by 12, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16 foot long that's going into our dimensional product line. Through the whole process, there's a menu that is created, a want list, if you will. If you will and <clears throat> the guys know that this is what we're working towards today. We might be set up running door components. It's a completely different menu possibly, or in conjunction with the other menu that we, we want to fulfill that day. So everybody's, everybody's communicating on top of their game. This is what we want to do. And this whole line achieves that. So as it proceeds through, we come to what we refer to as the big blue donut. It's, a, it's an MRI for wood. And it is, uh, it's a set of eyes that examines the piece of wood as it, tr as it travels through the donut. Uh, it will identify defects. It will communicate to a saw down line that, that this board has a defect at this location and it will identify it when it gets to the chop saw and an automatic chop saw will remove that defect in accordance to the length of the board again. So now we've addressed the boards both in width and in length. So through this process, we're creating off rippings, we're creating small drops as we refer to them, cutoffs, uh, cutoffs that can't be used in another finger joining operation. And <clears throat> what happens is, again, that small footprint that we want to achieve at the end of the day, at the end of the year, those are captured through conveyor systems and go through a grinding operation. And that ground up byproduct material is transferred over to our, sort, our storage silo. 
from the storage silo, that in turn will, uh, in the summer months typically, will sell that for uh, livestock bedding. In the winter months, uh, especially, we'll keep that on grounds and we, uh, uh, on the property here, and we'll use that as a fuel source for heating these buildings and controlling our environment and our temperature inside of every, every building on this facility. So as, as, we, as we get past the, the uh, blue donut and <clears throat> we'll see sorting tables and the shorter pieces will come off at the sorting table, be placed in bins and for the longer length lumber, it's going to become a piece of door casing, uh, you know, possibly a crown molding, uh, door jams, uh, door stop, whatever the case may be. Then we have a line of, uh, uh, of these carts, these, these little mini hay wagons that, that our, our guys, our pickers coming off of, the, off of the conveyor belt line will take and stack them by width, possibly by length. And as we go through the facility, these products are, are ear tagged for, for uh, this, this rough lumber, as we refer to them possibly as molded blanks. They're ear tagged for something down the road, the next operation in our mill shop. So at the tail end of this building is our finger joining operation. And this is where some of those short components, uh, whether it be a poplar product being turned into, uh, again, our finger jointed poplar line of uh, moldings, uh, dimensional lumber uh, boards, or whether it be an oak or a maple, uh, sometimes a hickory. And we'll take those components, those small, smaller pieces that we've, we've generated and, and produce this byproduct. We'll take that and turn the, the, the oak, uh, the red oak, the maple, the hickory, we'll turn that into uh, work, workbench tops. It's just a gorgeous piece of work. And again, we're taking product that normally wouldn't wind up. We're taking a byproduct that normally wouldn't wind up as a finished product and we're putting it to use. We're putting it to good use. Again, sustainability, renewable resource. We want to take care of it when it lands here at Baird Brothers. So as you come, as we continue through this optimizing line, <clears throat> we can see around us some of the, some of the products uh, that have gone through this stage. Uh, we have door panel material, we have flooring material, all these components that are just waiting to go to the next stage or the next operation of manufacturing. Uh, as we move forward a little bit, we're going to see lumber that hasn't been addressed yet. Uh, it's come through the dry kiln process. And again, it's in this heated uh, warehouse. Uh, we're in September. Now it's, it's time for the, for the heat to start kicking on. Through the summer months, we'll have fans. We'll you know, possibly introduce some moisture content if we need to through the winter months. Uh, so, so this lumber is, it, it's, it's, it's comfortable. It, you know, it's, it's not jumping around moisture content, moving up and down and up and down uh, because we wanna make sure that when it leaves here, it's at that stability level of 68% moisture content and whatever product we manufacture out of it, when it goes into your home, we have every confidence that we have produced a stable product for you and Therefore, that's why we go through the process that we do of heating these buildings, keeping airflow in these buildings, and, and it just makes for a better end product. Okay, so once the lumber has uh, gone through our optimizing line, uh, our rip building, next, next stop for it is going to be to go over into the mill shop, the production shop, and uh, we're going to see a couple different things in there. Uh, typically on the, on, on the tour during our red, white, and true event, uh, you don't get to see these, this equipment in operation, but because of our situation this year, 2020 COVID, uh, and not having you on site, 
we're gonna take our cameras, our employees, everybody realizes that every time we touch a board or a piece of molding, we have a chance to get it right. And that's our goal. Uh, this year, we're celebrating our 60th anniversary. We still practice the same principles that uh, Howdy and Richard and Paul Baird established when they were a little backyard sawmill behind their folks' place. Quality customer service, it, it, it's allowed us to enjoy six years of business. We have second generation in place right now. We have third generation coming on board with a lot of great ideas. You know, that uh, some fire in their belly, ready to get after it. And it's, it's, it's preached to them, to our employees. Treat it like it's going into your own house. Would you want that piece of wood in your house? And, and that's, that's how we approach our day to day. Unlike a, a normal red, white, and true, when this, this building would not be in operation, if, if you've ever experienced our tour, um, you'll get to see the equipment, but you won't see it in operation. Today, uh, it's live. So let's, let's take a little walk up through here and, and see, what, see what this building's all about. In this building, we'll manufacture door components, which in turn will be assembled in this building into actual finished doors. Uh, everything from butcher blocks to lineal moldings. There's a lot goes on here. There's a lot of equipment in this building. There's a lot of workers in this building. Everybody, everybody in here, you know, they'll, they'll we're we're a, we're a company of multitaskers. You might be uh, doing one one job one day and bounce over to another job. So, you know, you get trained on it, and and. Uh, you're, 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 expected, you're expected to perform that task. We're walking up on something right here that, that we mentioned in the back, the finger jointed moldings. Uh, those smaller byproduct pieces that we reassembled at the finger jointer, now we have them as a molding blank. Well, here, I'll show you. Come on over. This is the process of the reassembled short pieces into a finger joint. Uh, assembly joint. These are six foot. These are six foot materials. Like I said, it's a molding blank right now. If we walk down to the end of this machine, and I'm going to watch out for my cameraman. Watch your step. This particular blank. This is a, a five and five eighths inch blank. We're turning it into a five and a, a half inch. This is our profile, our baseboard profile, B209. And as you can see, it's a beautiful classic baseboard material. Now this will leave this shop, go over to our pre-finish area and have a primer coat applied to it. And that is that high quality paint grade molding product that I was referring to. Throughout the course of this facility, you'll see you'll see the latest technology, but you'll also see old school. Uh, the, the piece of equipment behind us is is a uh, an old planer. I think I started here as a as a young young man as a summer uh, back around 1976, and that machine was here then. And uh, it just goes, it just goes to show through maintenance and the quality of the original equipment, it still performs its task. But right next to it is a, is a uh, more modern piece of equipment that we manufacture some of our, uh, our door skins. And so throughout the whole process, you'll see the old mixed with the new technology. But the one thing that we always try and uh, tell our guys is it's still the human eye and the human hand that's going to that, that, that's going to determine whether that's a bared product or not. So we have we have multiple motor huts here. Uh, as we saw, one motor might be producing baseboard today. 
Uh, this motor over here, this machine today is set up to run. Uh, it's our it's our two and three quarter crown uh, product. It's our our B two hundred four or three hundred four. Excuse me, B three hundred four two and three quarter crown. You can you can see over here over here the 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 finish the finish that we accomplish on that. We refer to it as a light test. One thing missing from the face of this board our knife marks okay we do our we do our own in-house tooling sharpening of course our, our motor techs do the setups and that is the surface finish that we want to achieve on our moldings that's ready to be hand sanded stained and clear coated to go up into your home we're going to take a quick look over here and try not to get in the guy's way you can see here on the carts we have different door components. We have kick rails, we have intermediate lock rails, we have the door styles. Uh, that looks like a, a divided light door package. We have these little mullions, these little, little mullions to receive glass and be incorporated. Uh, we'll do anything from your standard door to uh, the most custom doors uh, that, that you'll see anywhere. We like to tell folks, you know what? If you can draw it on a napkin, bring it in. We'll run it through our drafting department. You'll talk to one of the salesmen, either on the phone or in person, and we'll try and create what you envision. Uh, we have that flexibility. So as we get ready to leave the mill shop, we're gonna bounce over to our finished warehouse. And in the finished warehouse, you're gonna see uh, just over two football fields under roof, end to end. And it is stocked front to back with quality hardwood products, job site ready, to be taken to your job site, to be shipped to your job site, and to be put to use in its final its final home. It's, it's going to find a home, and hopefully it'll be your home. Let's go take a look. Okay, so we've, we've gone through the process of... Uh showing the rough lumber coming in, being put on sticks, through the dry kilns, uh, through the optimizing line, up through manufacturing, and now we find ourselves in our, in our finished uh, finish warehouse. Uh, like I, I mentioned earlier, uh, just over two football fields long, full of job site ready, quality, hardwood, Baird Brother products. Uh, whether it be crown molding, casing, baseboard, uh, whether you're looking for stair treads, whether you're looking for dimensional lumber. As we walk through, you're gonna see that. Right now, we're at the very front of the building. And some, something that, that uh, we implemented because of, of, of the uh, COVID-19 uh, situation and the pandemic situation, when, when we closed down back in March, <clears throat> we had to shift gears. Uh, we, we have a workforce that, that wanted to work. And we had, uh, thankfully, uh, a customer base that needed lumber. So we shifted gears a little bit and we didn't open our showroom right away, but we did implement a new phone in, uh, place an order or order online. And <clears throat> you had a two hour pickup window. There was no contact in our showroom area. Orders were prepaid, you pulled in, we had, uh, we had an employee at the gate directing you to the building, radio communication up to our will call desk area, announcing the customer, you pulled up, our personnel loaded you, and you were on your way. Eventually, we were able to reopen the showroom. We reopened our showroom by appointment only. Uh, <clears throat> it worked. And, and again, we were thankful for the support that we received from our customer base. Uh, that eventually grew into us and, and guidance from our state and, and uh, uh, local governments and health departments that we were able to reopen the showroom. And we did it in accordance to all those people. Uh, we, do have, we do have occupancy restrictions still in place, uh, but you, our customers, are able to, to stop in 
visit with our guys at the sales counter. Get your order, place your order, do the cash and carry transaction. But I wanna, I, I wanna uh, reiterate the, the fact that we still have the will call pickup in place. Phone in your order, order it online, it's paid for, you drive up, come to the front of the trim building, you'll receive instructions on your, on your receipt, which building to direct yourself to. You roll up, you announce your name, and you're getting loaded and down the road back to the job site, okay? Uh, time is money. We recognize that. Your time is valuable to you, and, and we're trying to accommodate that. Please stop out and visit. Let's take a walk down through the building. How you doing, Anthony? <clears throat> so in this building, you can see some of the traffic. We have customers picking material up. We have employees uh, fulfilling orders, uh, whether they be for pickup here at, uh, at Quarry Road here in Canfield, or whether as we get further back, we'll see, we'll see guys preparing orders, fulfilling orders uh, for small package. Uh, you know, to go out on the FedEx trucks, uh, home delivery type of stuff. And as we get further back, we'll see guys preparing orders for uh, freight packaging. Uh, shipping all 50 states, all of Canada. Uh, that can be done over the phone. That can be done online. Uh, it's, it's, it's a great process. If you visit our website, BairdBrothers.com, uh, it's, it's pretty easy. And, and uh, so take advantage of that also. Uh, then you'll also see orders being prepared for our regional truck delivery. 100 mile radius of Canfield, Ohio. Uh, we, have, uh, we have trucks on the road every day uh, supporting our outside regional sales force. Uh, they're available to you, you know. Uh, you got, a, you got a, a, a home addition, a new home construction, complete remodel, reach out to us. We'll have one of our representatives come see you in Pittsburgh, Cleveland, the Mahoning Valley. Uh, take advantage of that. But as we walk through, you'll see, you'll see our A-frame racks full of moldings, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna have moldings on hand for you in red oak, poplar, maple, cherry, okay? We're keeping quite a bit of hickory on hand now because it's become so popular. Uh, whether it be the moldings, as, as, we, as we walk back, and, and you'll be able to see as, as we pan this shot a little bit, we have dimensional lumber, hardwood dimensional lumber, surface four sides, sanded one face that is ready for your project, okay? Whether you're building box beams, whether you want to build your own mantle, or whether you want to have Baird Brothers build your mantle, we offer that too. This material is ready. This material goes up against anybody across these United States. It is fantastic quality, dimensional, Time in, time out. If you buy one of our moldings this year and you have a little bit left over from this year's project and you come back and you want to buy that three and a half inch casing so you can do two more doors and you got three sticks left at home, it's going to match up. That goes back to our engineering, our setup people, our knife grinders, okay? We take pride in that. Our moldings are uniform year to year to year. And the same thing with our dimensional product. You're buying hardwood lumber. Unlike softwood lumber, you buy a one by four, in hardwood it's gonna be three quarter by three and a half. A one by six, three quarter by five and a half. Softwood lumber, you might be in that five and a quarter width category, okay? So <clears throat> identify that. Uh, again, if you, if, you, if you visit our website, uh, we'll list both the, uh, the call out size and also the nominal dimensional size. So it's very easy to shop online with us too. And you can you can see you can see these these fellas, you know, they're they're restocking and and you can you can see the neatness about it, okay? What I touched on earlier about about caring and, and knowing the product that you're handling. Uh, it it all plays into it. And, and we, we try hard, we try hard every day. <clears throat> even, in, even in our A-frame racks, everything's nice, neat, orderly. Why? Because if we, if we lean this board out, if we take a board like this 
and we lean it out like that, and it sits there for two days, guess what's gonna happen? No, we want it, we want it upright, we want it nice and straight. That way, when you take that piece of one by two net red oak, and you take it home and you're building cabinetry with it for your styles, you're working with good material. <clears throat> you need a sample? We'll send a sample to you. We have our molding samples available to you. We'll shoot you, we'll shoot you samples. Go to info at bairdbrothers.com and make a request. We'll get it packaged up, get it coming your way to see if it's the molding that you want. One of the other product lines that we carry, we don't manufacture it, but we carry it. <clears throat> it's a premium grade hardwood plywood selection. Your, your red oak, your white oak, your poplar, your maple, your cherry, your hickory, uh, some of your character grade stuff, uh, your quarter sawn white oak, your quarter sawn red oak. Some of the not so usual or normal stuff, we have it. It's a good quality cabinet grade plywood. Uh, you can get plywood everywhere, but you're not going to get this plywood everywhere. Right? So take, it, take advantage of that if you've got a project that requires plywood. You want, you want stair treads? You want to redo that staircase? We've got them. What do, we, what do we want to work with today? We want to work with maple stair treads? We want to work with cherry stair treads. Give us a call. We'll check our inventory. <clears throat> you're able to come out this afternoon, pick them up, go home, start your project this weekend. So. <clears throat> As you can see, as we look down through here, we're about halfway through this building. We have moldings. You want, uh, whether, you're, whether you're doing that room addition or, or switching, switching a couple doors in your house or whether you're doing a new construction and you're going top to bottom, we have the product waiting here for you. We're ready to go. You know, typically for our Red, White & True event, we would have uh, uh, upwards of 30 vendors here. We'd have the tents. We'd have the food. Uh, Unfortunately, we can't do it this year. Uh, that's why we're, we, you know, we, we, we're taking you on this tour today. Next year is going to be bigger, better, stronger, and, and uh, we're going to be all right. Uh, again, you know, we have to, as a, as a company, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, uh, you know, in this little town of Canfield, Ohio, we are so thankful to have the support of our customers. It's, uh, it's really been astounding. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's people struggling, and and we are we're grateful and we're thankful for for you, our customer, uh, to come out and support us day in and day out. And and we we need you to know that it it kills us not being able to host our normal event this year. But you know what? Uh, you go. You go online, and uh, we're still going to be offering some great specials online, uh, some great discounts uh, across the board. Our full product line, uh, a lot, you know, 90% of the material is available online. It's as simple as you know, working from your desk, uh, uh, from your office at home, you know, your your computer desk, whatever. Go online, <clears throat> place your order, take advantage, take advantage of the 10% discount. Sign up. <clears throat> There'll be a tab there. Uh, sign up for uh, our grand prize giveaway, like we've always done. Sign up online for a 500 square foot grand prize offering over $3,000 worth of hardwood flooring. Uh, sign up for that. We're going to be giving uh, uh, one, of, one of these hardwood workbench tops away. You're welcome to stop out if you need to talk to one of our associates for, for some direction, for some guidance on hardwood doors on your flooring selection. Our showroom is open. Uh, our showroom is open and, and uh, uh, they're gonna be till four o'clock on Friday, till two o'clock on Saturday. Uh, I'm sorry we can't flip hamburgers and hot dogs for you this year, but we're looking forward to September 2021 when we can get together again.